Okay, next trick we're going to show you is called White Buddha. I've actually broken this one into three steps. It's another pretty long trick. Um, just bear with me, break down the steps, watch each part, you'll get it. Whole trick looks like this. Like that. That's White Buddha. Let me show you the first step. The first step you actually might have already learned an and what. Um, the yo-yo comes up and under, and it's as if you're going to go into a one and a half mount, but instead you kind of bail out at the last second. You hit that top string, and because you hit that top string, it bounces it down to the bottom one. So just one more time, it comes up and around. You hit that top string, and it bounces up and down onto it. So from this move, you want to take this and go to your right into a one and a half mount. So one more time, it's from here to one and a half mount. Just like Buddha's Revenge, you actually swing the yo-yo up and around like so. And let me change angles real quick so you can see what's going on from this viewpoint. So as, this, as it hits, you swing it over, swing it all the way to the left, or your non-throw hand side. Open up this loop. The two strings coming over here. You're going to open this up. Just stick your thumb and your pointer finger in there. Open that up. You're going to pop the yo-yo up through this part. Just like so. From here, you pop it back in. And then swing it back to one and a half mount. Let me show you from the front what this looks like real quick. You land. One and a half mount. Come over. Open up. Pop out. Pop back in. I'm going to try that again just to show you guys. Pop over and out. So, over, out, back in. And back into one and a half mount. That's part one of White Buddha.